हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी एस एस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सी एस एस ग्रुप सेलेक्टर वी टॉक अबाउट ग्रुप सेलेक्टर देर आर सिचुएशन वेर डिफरेंट टैग्स मे हैव सिमिलर स्टाइल्स टू रेड्यूज द कोड रेडेंसी वी क्रिएट ग्रुप सेलेक्टर वी ऑलरेडी नो द सिंटेक्स ऑफ सी एस एस रूल सेट दैट इज वी राइट सेलेक्टर्स देन इन फ्लावर ब्रैकेट वी राइट डिक्लेरेशन लिस्ट टू इम्प्लीमेंट ग्रुप सेलेक्टर इन प्लेस ऑफ अ सेलेक्टर वी राइट कॉमा सेपरेटेड लिस्ट ऑफ सेलेक्टर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल द सिंटेक्स ऑफ ग्रुप सेलेक्टर इज वी राइट कॉमा सेपरेटेड लिस्ट ऑफ सेलेक्टर्स सेलेक्टर वन सेलेक्टर टू सेलेक्टर थ्री इट माइट बी एनी नंबर ऑफ सेलेक्टर्स इन फ्लावर ब्रैकेट वी राइट द डिक्लेरेशन लिस्ट All these styles are going to be applied on every selector, friends. Let's proceed further. Here I have an example. If you have two tags H3 and P tag, now both of them have similar styles. You can observe here both of them have background color gray, foreground color white, and the border two pixel. Instead of writing separate rule sets, you can simply write one rule set containing the common rules. Then you should use in place of selector comma separated selector. So I have written here H3 comma P. Automatically the CSS applies all these styles to all H3 and paragraphs. Note comma separated list of selectors is known as group selector, friends. We see the demonstration for this. I minimize the word document. I go to start, say Notepad. I click on Notepad. You can see the Notepad got open. and here i write the basic html structure so i write here less than exclamation mark doc type html then i say opening html lang equal to en then i say closing html tag inside i write opening head tag and then i say closing head tag then i say opening body tag closing body tag in between the head section i write here meta char set equal to utf8 close file save as i save the file at desktop with the name default.html both sides i put double quotation and click on the save button i minimize the notepad you can see that default.html page got created i right click on it open with firefox to open it in firefox you can see that default.html page got open now i change the title so i go to notepad and here i write title i say group selector demo closing title tag file save go to browser and refresh you can see title is set to group selector demo in the body section i write h3 this is going to be heading text closing h3 right some text in the heading i have written then in a paragraph i say paragraph text closing p tag file save go to browser and refresh you can see that heading text and paragraph text got displayed Let me go to settings here and zoom it little bit more so that you people can see the content properly, right? Let's proceed further. Now what I do actually is I am going to use the group selector. First thing is I use the style tag. So here I write opening style and say type equal to text or CSS. Then I say closing style tag. Let me put this content on the same line. you can see what we actually do normally means we start something like this i want the background color of the heading 3 should be gray color so we write h3 then we write opening flower bracket and closing flower bracket in between we say background dash color should be gray color semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see the background color is gray similarly we might want the foreground color should be white so foreground color i am using the color attribute and say white semicolon file save go to browser and refresh that white color is set even i say here font dash size should be 16 pt semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see the font size also little bit increased later we think okay maybe the paragraph should also have the background color gray then what actually normally we do means we use the tag selector p tag opening flower bracket and closing flower bracket and there again we type same thing background dash color should be gray semicolon file save go to browser and refresh that's all next thing is here i want the foreground color white so we write color then colon w h i t e white so i go to file say save go to browser and refresh 
text is white similarly maybe we want font size 16 points so font dash size of 16 pt semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see the font size increased to 16 point you can observe carefully that both of the selectors here having the same styles right what we can do instead of writing like this we can simply say h3 comma p both of them should have the styles mentioned in the flower brackets background color gray foreground color white font size 16 pt this is actually known as group selector okay comma separated list of selectors so this is a tag selector this is one tag selector right file save go to browser and refresh you can observe that both of them have the styles that we have told it is not that you can only use a tag selector here you can use any other selector also for example we have here another another tag maybe div tag i have opening div and closing div and in between i say div1 and i i might identify it as uh, by using the id attribute so id equal to div1 now what i can do is if i want to apply same styles background color gray foreground color white and font size 16 pt okay let's take an example file save go to browser and refresh at present it is only displaying div1 either i can use the div tag like this div every div can have these styles mentioned so background color gray foreground color white like that if i say file save go to browser and refresh it displays the styles whatever we told or we can use the id selector right for example i can delete this i'm going to delete this content from here file save go to browser and refresh again the div is normal now what i can do is i can use a hash div1 that's a id selector right opening bracket closing bracket and i copy this code from here and paste it for this also file save go to browser and refresh that also performs the same thing if it applies the background color gray foreground color white font size 16 point instead of writing like this what we can do is we can simply use this from here we give a comma and paste in this place let me delete this code from here now we have here tag selector we have id selector we are grouping various selectors together to create a group selector reduce the code redundancy and uh, create more efficient code so file save go to browser and refresh you can see that all of them have specified styles that is all about group selector friends hope you guys have understood how group selector help you to reduce the code redundancy and how you write more than one selectors to make a group selector so for this tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you people to try yourself some code for more benefits and be updated please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial